Somewhere in the frozen mountains of Antarctica tonight, three Canadians are still stranded. And for a second day, rescue attempts had to be called off because of bad weather. Their plane went down somewhere in a mountain range. And as Francis Silvaggio reports, although no contact has been made, no one has given up hope. Weather continues to plague rescue efforts in Antarctica as New Zealand search and rescue officials scramble to locate the missing Canadian plane and its three crew members. We uh, are still experiencing um, pretty high winds and, uh, and, and pretty heavy cloud cover um, at the scene. Um, however, that's, uh, that's expected to improve significantly over the next um, 24 or so hours. The Twin Otter was one of 14 aircraft Calgary-based Ken Boric Air had dispatched to Antarctica last year. The company has not spoken publicly, but in a statement says during the early morning hours of January 23rd, a Twin Otter operated by Ken Boric Air Limited was categorized as an overdue aircraft. The aircraft was repositioning from the South Pole Station to Terranova Bay, Antarctica, carrying three Canadian crew members. First aid kit and the fire extinguisher on the back door by Lucy. The pilot has been identified as Bob Heath, a veteran polar aviator who captivated Northwest Territories blogger Kyle Thomas during a trip to Tuktoyaktuk last summer. The second we got in the plane, it was uh, one story after another and laughter and uh, even in things down to his uh, safety instructions, there was just humor in it that really left a lasting impression on the flight that I took with him. Keith is reported to have had a co-pilot and engineer on board when the plane disappeared Wednesday. Another Ken Boric Twin Otter was unsuccessful today in locating the missing plane. Crews will now try to set up a forward operating base about 50 kilometers away from where the beacon was last located to give crews better access, but the clock is ticking. Still very much a risky operation, but at this stage, no contact has, uh, has been made with uh, those on the ground. Officials say Heath and his crew are among the best trained to survive in the harsh Antarctic climate. They say if the crew was still alive when the plane disappeared, there's still hope. Francis Silvangio, Global News, Calgary.